All right, multiplying matrices. We'll fill in some of the background information here. Get your name on it. Or somebody's name on it. Better put your name if you want me to know who it is. Yeah. All right. Matrix product. The matrix product is the product of two or more matrices. You can only multiply matrices when the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Okay, there's got to be that match. Order matters when multiplying matrices. Okay? Now, this A, would you agree, is a three row by two. This is a three by two matrix. Right? Matrix B, two rows, two columns, is a two by two matrix. Okay? So the number of columns in A matches the number of rows in B. So if we write it the way we learned how to write it, all we have to do is look at those two inner dimensions here. If they are the same, we can multiply the matrices together. If they are not the same, we cannot multiply. Okay? So AB is a three by two times a two by two matrix. The final result, and this says this here, but I just want to show you. You look at that and see that those are the same. The final result is going to be a three by two matrix. So the inner dimensions need to match. They need to be the same if we can multiply. The outer dimensions, if that happens, will be the size of the product matrix. Okay? Does that make sense so far? So that is just something we need to define at first. Now, BA, we change that order. We got a 2 by 2 multiplied by a 3 by 2. What happens here? These are not the same. They're not equal, okay? That means this product is not defined. We can't do it. They have four examples here. Let's look at the first one, E, F. It does say E times F. The order does matter. E is a 4 by 2. F is a 2 by 3. Am I able to multiply E and F together in that order, E times F? Yeah. Yes. We can multiply that together. And the result would be what size matrix? A what? 4 by 3. Good. All right. Let's look at GH here. You got a 3 by 1 and a 2 by 3. Are we able to multiply to get GH? No. So this one's not defined. If the insides are the same, we can do it. And if we can do it, those outsides are how big the matrix that comes out is going to be. All right? Give three and four a shot. Can I actually solve them or just say no, no solving, just yes, and then how big, or not defined. Okay? This one wants FG. Do you see they change the order? So put the F first. Okay, I almost did that. <laughs> and three by one. 
Okay, we all good with three? What are you saying on four? Yes. Okay. And how, Brooke, what are the dimensions of it? All right. Okay. So, that is this to get us started. Now we're going to actually get into how to actually do the multiplying. But before you do the multiplying, you got to know if it'll work or not. Okay? And how big your answer is going to be. All right. So turn it over here. We got a couple of examples to look at. In a matrix product, P, P is representing the product matrix equals A times B. Each element, P, I, J, is the sum of the products of consecutive entries in row I in matrix A and column J in matrix B. All right, that's. That's true. So now you read that and you think, well, it makes perfect sense. Let's just do it. Does everybody know how to do it, just reading that? No. no. Okay. Now, so I think it just takes some demonstration. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the rows. If we're doing A, B, I'm going to use the rows in A and the columns. I only got the one column in B. Okay. So for the first row, first row, first column, I'm going to take 4 times 4, first times first, plus second times second, plus third times third. Okay? 4 times 4, plus 7 times negative 6, plus 2 times 1. And that's what they did right there. All good? And then for the second row, first column, 3 times 4 plus 6 times negative 6 plus 5 times 1. Now let's do a little calculating. That's 16, negative 42, and 2. I think that's negative 24. That's 12, negative 36, and 5. I think that's negative 19. <coughs> Just doing the calculations real quick. Now, do you kind of see it here? We're going to do another one without them having done, done it for us first. Okay. So, we're going to find the product of AE here. In order to do that, First of all, I want to look at what are the dimensions of A? Two by, two, two by three. What are the dimensions of E? Three by two. Three by two. Is it going to work? Yes. How big is it going to be? Uh, two by two. Yeah. Those outsides or what is it? Okay. So this is going to work. Let's figure it out. All right, I'm going to use the rows in A, because A is first, and the columns in E. Everybody, I'm going to write it kind of small over here, and then I'll write my final answer here. Because I'm going to expand, I'm going to write it all out. 4 times 3 <coughs> plus 7 times negative 1. plus 2 times 6. That is the first row, first column. All right? I'll get the answer in a moment. This one. 4 times 4, first row, second column now. First row, second column. 4 times 4, plus 7 times 0, plus 2 times 2. That's first row, first column. Now, let's go to the second row, first column. 3 times 3, plus 6 times negative 1, plus 5 times 6, 
okay? And then three times four plus six times zero plus five times two. All right, now it's time to calculate. 12, negative 7 is 5, 5 plus 12 is 17. Four times four is 16, plus zero is 16, plus four is 20. Nine, three times three is nine, plus negative six is three, plus 30 is 33. 12 plus zero is 12, plus 10 is 22. Okay, are you understanding each part here? Yeah. Okay. And it still takes a little practice to do that, but all right. One more example, and then I'll go to the next sheet here. All right. Double Batch Cookie Company currently sells two types of cookies. Their signature chocolate chip and newly created cinnamon cinnamon pumpkin cookies. The table on the left shows the number of batches of cookies sold in the months of October and November for each type of cookie. The table on the right shows the revenue, cost, and profit for each batch of cookie. By creating a matrix for each table, then using matrix multiplication, we can determine the total cost, revenue, and profit for both types of cookies for the months of October and November. All right, well, let's go ahead and make kind of the matrices that come out of these tables. 25, 15, 26, and 14. And you can see batches sold of each kind in October, batches sold of each kind in November. Revenue, store cost, and profit for chocolate chip <laughs> revenue, store cost, and profit for um, cinnamon pumpkin. All right, I'm gonna write these down. Will this work, by the way? What do we got? A two by two and a two by three. We're gonna have what? A two by three. And they even have this kind of set up in a two by three, so very good. All right, row, always, first one's row. Second one's column. First is always row, second's always column. So I'm going 15 times 20 plus 24 times 20. First row, second column. 15 times 5 plus 24 times 6. First row, third column. 15 times 15 plus 24 times 14. Second row, first column, 11 times 20 plus 16 times 20. First, second row, second column, that would be 11 times 5 plus 16 times 6. Third row, third column, 11 times 15 plus 16 times 14. All right. You guys got your calculators handy there? I can do some of these. 300 and 480, I think, is 780. Let me know if I missed something there. This is 75, 144. Is that 219? Mm -hmm. Row 1, column 2. 225. Um, is this one 561?
540 here. 151 here. Three hundred eighty nine. You guys get that? Yeah. All right. All righty.